Okay, wait a second. Oh my goodness, guys. I almost missed that. Disney patch right there. Iron on patch. Could be sterling silver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, guys, what is that? That could be some gold right here. Fantastic right there. Um, this right here, Incubus concert t-shirt. Really cool. This right here, uh, Hello Kitty with the city. This is a, a legitimate vintage piece. Is that a real signature? I think those might be real signatures. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. A little bit of money. Blades can sometimes be some good money. Nautica, okay. Is this a Nautica wallet? Uh oh, this is good. Fi Hawaii's finest jewelers. Oh, that's a Beats symbol right there, Beats. What the heck? Okay, I see hotel cards and I see gift cards. Ooh, 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 ooh. it really does. Mm, could be. I think that might be a 10K. Couple money symbols there. Nice. This could be silver. Guys, this, I did not plan this. That looks pretty good right there. There's the Raiders. Best team in football. Yo, uh huh. Let the comments roll. I know that always sparks a lot of. What is that? That's. Ridiculous. All right. Um. Harry Potter patch right there. Ravenclaw. Yeah. It's a little Apple charger wall plug. Hmm. What's that for? I'm not sure. A couple more cables here. Uh, Apple air um, earbuds. Giant stickers, partially used. Oh, there's another Harry Potter patch right there. Iron-on patch for Ravenclaw. I wonder how much that was new. That's cool. Wait a second. Oh my goodness, guys. I almost missed that. I almost missed that. Now I know what that little plug was for. Oh, geez. That's a little iPod Nano right there. That's worth some money. That's a good find right here. Decent condition. Little plugs. That's great. I almost missed that. My goodness. I gotta slow it down a little bit. Alright, next bag. This has got a lot of stuff. Look at this right here. Disney patch right there. Iron on patch. $5.90, okay. And what's that right there? A little pineapple. Could be sterling silver. Could be, could be, could be, could be. Put that aside. Oh, geez, guys. This is going to be a good bag, maybe. There's some more pins. There's a Disney, wait, right? Yes, Disney pin right there. Disney pin. More Disney pins. Woohoo! This is good. We have found a little bit of Disney pins, and that's... I'm hoping we find more. We got their check right here. One of the first things when I start hitting Disney, I'm like, please let there be a Disney pin collection in here. And we found some, not a huge collection, we found some. A couple of cool phone cases. What's in the bag? Thread, cord, ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, what's this? Well, you have to think it's gotta be something special to put in a plastic bag, right? Napkins, some notes on paper. A drink coupon, Southwest, expires in 2018, plastic. Business card, Savers Club card, oh boy guys, and a travel ticket. <laughs> that could have gone in the garbage guys, you did not need to put that in the ziplock and save it. I'll go eat it. This is nice right here, it's a little business card thing and it's got the 3M. I think that's the stick on the back of your phone. Oh, what's this? That's some pills. Look at this. What's that? Somebody's photo, but oh guys, what is that? That could be some gold right there. I see a K. Do I see a K? I am half blind. I don't know if I see a K. Potentially I saw a K. That could be some gold right here. This is nothing right here. It's nothing, but I'm going to put it back in there. Could be a little bit of gold, maybe even a little bit of silver. It looks like the pendant's silver and the chain is gold. Uh, that's what I'm hoping anyways. Maui Divers Jewelry. We found a little bit of that already. Shoelaces. That's cool. A little abalone shell necklace there. It says Aloha. It's a little souvenir piece, but we'll put it aside. I gotta go through all these little cards, make sure there's no more gift cards. Okay, right there. Gift card, $25 for the giant store. The pin is still blocked on there. It hasn't been rubbed off, but they could have used it in the store. Uh, that's good. All right, I'm gonna go through all this stuff. Wait, oh wait, before I do, why is that in there? It's a watch, it's in a bunch of rice, which means they dropped it somewhere. A Nixon, can you see that brand Nixon? That's a decent brand. And they must have dropped in the water, and that's why they were trying to dry it out. Maybe they forgot about it. All right, guys, I, I will finish going through this. And, uh, of course, I'll pull all these gift cards out. There's another one. I'll let you know what I find. All right, cool.
Okay, guys, of all that stuff, here's what I found. Starting with the least impressive. That's just a Disneyland postcard. It's like a holographic 3D thing. Uh, kind of neat. Looks like they taped it to a wall at some point, but whatever. Um, we a lot of postcards. There's another Giants card. I think that brings in my total to like four of these. Could potentially be a hundred bucks. I don't know. Um, this one's my boardwalk rechargeable card. It's for the San Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Yeah, my dad lives not far from there, so maybe we save that and if the girls go there. Might be a little money left on there. There's a little Disney keychain. Not a big deal, right? This is cool. Look at this. Two. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, these are iPods. Oh, dang. I thought they were iPhones. I thought they were old iPhones. It's a couple of old iPods. This is 64 gig and a 16 gig. And the screens look all right. They're a little scratched up. Yeah, there's a little little gash in the edge right there, but I don't know. They look pretty decent. That's a good find. And then I got this little pouch right here. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, World Champions, San Francisco Giants. That's nothing. It's not going to be silver. It's just a souvenir piece. Still cool, still cool, still cool. Overall, this is uh, yeah, it's a few good things there. Okay, we got these two big boxes here. That's the next two that we're going to do. Okay, Disney bag on top. Oh, this looks like clothes, man. And that's good because we found some very good clothes. When I was mentioning things that we're finding, like Disney stuff and San Francisco Giants stuff, um, I didn't mention clothes. Clothes is maybe going to be the one, one of them. Well, it might be the most uh, money maker out of this locker, or it's going to be one of the most because the clothes have been pretty decent. Pretty decent. I've even found a couple keepers for myself. That is a big shirt. And I'm not sure what that says. Anu Anuhai? Anuhai? That's a very large shirt, state of mind, some Hawaii thing, but, um, ah, uh, that's going to Danza. The large size is actually pretty good. Maz, Mazlan? Mrazland. Oh, this is, uh, Jason Mraz. Probably his concert shirt. That's cool. I'll put that as aside to bring home. Oh, Disneyland. Fantastic. Fantastic. There's a long sleeve Disneyland, uh, t-shirt, almost like a sweater. It's a little bit heavier. H-I, Hawaii. Nice. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey kung fu. <laughs> That's a size extra large. I love that shirt. Oh, man. <laughs> I wish it was a large. I'd keep it for sure. This is great, guys. Look at these um, t-shirts coming out. Rebels. That's for... Hey, I look at it right there. Star Wars. Star Wars. Double XL. Fantastic right there. This is like... You go through a lot... We usually go through a lot of clothes to find the t-shirts. This guy mostly kept his t-shirts. All right, guys. I'm not going to bore you. I don't know if you guys like going through clothes. A lot of people do. A lot of people don't. Miami. Surf style nice um i'm pretty lenient on this kind of stuff i i do tend to throw a lot more towards the deensa pile because i'd rather bring it out there try to get 10 bucks a piece there's a uh, lady gaga san francisco another concert shirt right there i'd rather bring it to deensa and try to get 10 versus bring it to stockton and get two if i'm lucky and it's a hard sale to get two bucks at stockton for any clothes really so let me go through this i'll i'll, I'll put the really interesting exceptional stuff aside oh there's another jason mraz right there and the Jason Mraz. Nice. Okay, guys. Great stuff. Like, I only put aside a few pieces uh, for Stockton. And that's that right there. Um, I started tossing a few more pieces over here to bring home. Mostly like Warriors and anything Disneyland. Over here, I started putting more clothes in here. I started getting uncomfortable because I got hats on the bottom. I don't want them crushed. So this right here is all shirts that I put aside for uh, for Deanza, the Better Flea Market. Most of it went in there. Um, most of it's going to Deanza because it is better stuff. This right here, Punaho Apparel, another really nice uh, Hawaiian shirt. It feels silk. So we've already found a ton of those. We're going to do those in our live auction. We usually uh, lock them up big lots you know make a big lot of extra large or double xl um this right here incubus concert t-shirt really cool uh if it weren't for the gal on here like that you know the girly graphic i would be wearing this if it was my size you know uh but it is a double xl not a large uh but it's very cool very cool piece and very soft it's a good quality shirt incubus um I'm going to put that aside because we need to look that up. There might be a little value in it. I don't think so. This right here, I love it. This is Jack Johnson. And it looks like another concert shirt. Summer tour. Volunteer. Uh, what I like about it is it looks like it's been washed a, a hundred times. And it's got a very soft feel to it too. Um, I don't see a tag in there. It could have been just a wore off. Actually, it looks like it used to be right here. I think it's been washed so many times it wore off. Looks to me like a large or extra large. I'm going to put it aside because I love it. This right here, uh, Hello Kitty. <laughs> with the city and that's the golden state warriors and there's the warriors emblem right there i wish this was my girl's size because they love basketball 
It's a size extra large. I'm going to put it aside anyways because Camille's playing basketball right now. She might like that. That might be a night shirt for her to wear instead of PJs, you know? This shirt right here, it's just a Fruit of the Loom extra large. It's just hecka dope. That graphic is a fire, guys. That is fire. That is so cool. Unicorn Kitty being ridden by a Leprechaun Kitty. I love it. I really love, love, love it. It's extra large. a little big for me, but I'm going to bring it home and try it on. This one right here, um, this is Katy Perry. It's a size large. Um, not a Carrie, Katy Perry fan, but I just want to mention it because it is another concert shirt. Could have some value. I'm bringing that to Dianza. There's a few Dianza pieces. I had a Gwen Stefani also go in the Dianza with that. This right here, dang cool. Incubus large, and that is my size, and I am definitely keeping that. I guess this is a graphic off one of their album covers. I'm not sure because I don't buy the albums anymore. Everything's digital, you know, I just I get everything I need on Spotify, but that graphic is really nice And then this right here. This is a heartbreaker to me because it is a size double XL again incubus I love that graphic the colors in here and the graphic amazing really amazing these guys uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm digging their style. I love their music and now I'm looking at their shirts. I've never seen these before I love it I'm going to put it aside for value just to look it up. I can't wear that one though. It's just too big. This one right here, another Incubus shirt. That is a size large and I'll probably get that too. This one's uh, also been washed like a hundred times. It's got that real soft feel to it. I like that. It's hard to achieve. And then the last one I wanted to share with you guys right here. This is uh, nothing uh, like a concert or anything. And it's got, it says, what does it say? Come on thread or gom on? Common thread. Oh my goodness. There's two M's. Okay, common thread. Common thread. It's got a little like Hawaiian type uh, illustration on there. Here's the front. Uh, both sides have the same thing. That's cool. Um, this is size large, my size. But what's cool about this, this is a single stitch, guys. See that? That's a single stitch, single stitch. And I don't think this is a reproduction single stitch. This is a, a legitimate vintage piece. It's got, again, that really soft feel. You can see the graphic is kind of starting to splinter a bit here. Um, that's a vintage piece, and I do like that too. That's a size large. I might put it aside too. I put stuff aside. It doesn't mean I'm going to keep it or sell it uh, in our auction or such. I put aside sometimes just because I want a few more minutes. I don't want to just rush it to the market. But that is uh, a really good load for Dianza. And then look at this right here. This one, I think, is closed too. Yeah, okay. I think I cut this one open. And I think it says closed right there. But uh, this looks like hanging clothes. Let me get this down and go through it. Okay, not as exciting because it was mostly jackets, but hey, check it out. I think I found myself a new jacket. <laughs> not that I need one. I have tons of jackets, but uh, look, at it. it fits me heck of good. The sleeves are a decent length, and it's a extra large, but it's not. It's a small extra large for sure. So yeah, I'm going to keep that one. I kind of like it. It says Jackson on it. I don't think that's like Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson. I think it's just a brand. Never heard of it, but uh, I like it. Does it fit good? I can't even really tell because I don't have my glasses on, but um, it feels good. And it's keeping me warm because the temperature is dropping. All right, we got three more bins here, and then we've got like three in a box out there. Then, guys, we're done. Oh, ooh, ooh, this one's heavy. And uh oh, this one's, this one's wanting to fall over. That was probably not good to put the small ones uh, under the big ones, right? Okay, let me, let me readjust this and we'll get into this. All right, much better. All right, much better. Okay. Let's see what we got. First up right here, I think that's Volcom. Nope, first act. Okay, that goes with the guitar. Right there is a guitar strap. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh boy, is that part of the funeral or is that part of a Christmas decoration? I don't really know. Oh, those are flip-flops, maybe? That's a little different. Okay, we'll put that over there for now. Oh, yeah, I see something good right there. Wait a second, did we look in this one before? Oh no, R2, oh, sorry buddy, sorry buddy. His head's all smashed up. Mm -hmm. This one, Disney Parks, yeah, this is that souvenir drink. Wait, did we go through this already? Why did I see this already? Is this the second one we've seen or did we peek in here? I didn't see this, wait, did we? No, I'm confused now. Okay, junk, ooh, Velcro. Yeah, I had me had Velcro, <laughs> I'm keeping it. Okay, no, we did not go through this one. That is for certain at this point. I know it. And that's a brand new sealed photo album. I don't know. Junk. A lot of trash in this unit. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff too, so it's all good. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that they did store a lot of trash. Disneyland stuff. Oh, button. I'll put that aside. Trader Sam's. Oh, that's kind of neat. Was that a menu? Did they steal the menu, really? They stole the menu. Hmm. 
Hopefully I don't get in trouble for, steal, for selling stolen goods. I hope not. Hey, they stole this menu too. World of Color, 2014. That is neat. That's an old postcard right there. Judiciary Building in Honolulu, old postcard. It looks like there's another postcard there, not nearly as old, but uh, wow. Cool, cool couple pieces there. A little ephemera. Titanic poster book, okay. Um, I'm, I'm not sure who that is, but I know we found a Kelly Slater signature before, so maybe that Kelly Slater, maybe? Could be. Let's see what's in here. Breaking Bad Magnet Collection, that's hilarious. Oh look, Los Pollos Hermanos, I have a t-shirt with that graphic uh, that I bought at Target. Eight bucks on that, that's pretty funny. And this, look, I still don't know what these are. They fit on something. Maybe they're finger puppets, I don't know. There's a little patch from Disneyland, cool. Okay, Playboy chain for something. So back to a pin. Madonna, souvenir piece. There's a little moleskin legendary notebook. Very nice little notebook right there. Ooh, Dolce & Gabbana jewels. Oh, please, come on. Did we find those yet? No, I really want to. I really, really want to. There's a business card holder and a Madonna pin. There's a Gwen Stefani concert book, Lover's Tour 2005. I'll put that aside. I think we're going to have enough to do a little concert book lot in our auction. John Pay, what's this? Joe Montana, 1988, right there, compliments. Oh, oh, is that a real signature? I think those might be real signatures. Steve Young, John Pay, Jerry Rice, no signature on that. Not really that surprised. He doesn't really sign them. Oh, oh, DeWalt. Oh, this is heavy. What's this? Oh, come on. Let's see. What do you guys think? Is it in here? I think it is. Yeah, okay. All right, that's cool. 14 volt uh, drill. It's not a lithium. That's a decent piece though. Hmm, I like it. I'm gonna bring it to Stockton though. I think, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Tell me, what do you think? Should I bring that to the lower end flea market? Get 10 bucks or the better flea market? Get 20, 25. Ah, Stockton can have it. Oh, well, okay. We got a lot of spray paint here. First of all, though, we got this pug. Oh, the pug's busted. Sorry, puggy. He looks sad, too. He looks... No, that's just how they look. Yep, there's his hind quarters right here. All in pieces. The spray paint always sells at the market, but unfortunately, this one's almost empty. Some pledge. There's some white spray paint right there. That's good. These guys at the market, they asked me to find them some white spray paint because they need to repaint the lines and the reserve marks and stuff. So there's a Husky saw. A couple really good screwdrivers right here. Wrench. What else we got in here? Looks like a bunch of junk. Craft stuff. Glue. Oh, what's this? Video Music Awards VIP. It's split though. I wonder if that's worth anything. Yo ho ho, a pirate's life for me, a little Mickey Mouse coin or token or something. Batteries. Okay, there's something in that bag. Let's go through that in a second. Something in there too. Something in there too. Jack Skellington. Oh my goodness, it looked like just craft stuff, but this is not all craft stuff. Look at this. Got some kind of Disney thing here. Hmm. That's a little notebook. Cover made out of leaves. A little paint. More Velcro. Some nails. There's another token. More nails. A little bit of necklaces. More of these beaded necklaces. Or necklace. Or lays, rather. Actually, those are going to let go. Well, maybe not. We'll figure it out. Oh, Disney thing. Alright, guys, that'll do it for that. I don't see anything else good in here. Well, that's funny. It's a nice giant colored towel right there or a scarf or something. Okay, let's see what we got. What's in these things? Glitter. <laughs> There's a gnome, a ceramic gnome. Oh, bummer. It's a ceramic gnome. But his arms are busted off. Looks like they're in here. Are they busted off or are they supposed to come off? Oh, maybe they're supposed to come off. 2012 Collectors Evolving Branded Merchandise. I don't know. Um, I'll put it aside. They, they could sometimes the bats and arms and stuff come out for packing, you know, so they don't break. A bunch more magnets, American Express magnet. Oh, this is interesting. So, oh, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, I got some pennies, a little bit of money, straight up. But look at this, got some more little tokens. Oh no, that's the MGM Grand. That's one dollar gaming token. 
Okay, those are gaming tokens. That's something a little better. What's this? Dead Men Tell No Tales. That's another souvenir piece, a little souvenir coin from Pirates of the Caribbean. That's cool. 2006 Disney. There's some more of those uh, gaming tokens. Yeah, I got a lot of them. Some Mickey Mouse piece here. There's another one. This is some cool stuff here. Ooh, there's a Disney pin. Bambi and Thumper. All right, all right. <laughs> another one. Oh, what's that? It's a little token. Okay, count me on. Count on me to own it. Southwest Airlines. I think it's just a souvenir piece. And more magnets right here. All right. Okay, so this looks like a silhouette oval frame, picture frame probably. Yeah. Oh, neat. Oh, they did the silhouettes. And they bought the picture frame. Uh, those picture frames are like the ones in the Haunted Mansion or something. I don't know. They look familiar to me. They're somewhere in the park. There's some significance to it. And that looks like it's going to be another one. Okay. Next bin. Let's take a peek. Oh, neat. Look at that. It's like a tiki thing. All right. That'll go straight to Danza. This is a um, candle holder, right? Like that. And yes, you hook that to the wall. Kind of nice. Not that big of a deal, though. Okay, what's this? Madonna, another concert book. Oh, this is a poster book. Okay, poster book. Put that aside. Maybe sell it with the concert stuff. Wait, what's this? Okay, this is uh, Confessions Tour Madonna. The bag's from the Madonna Tour. Let's see if this is all Madonna stuff. <laughs> it is. Wait, I see some more Madonna stuff. Anyways, there's a Madonna Rises Again W magazine. I don't know if that's collectible. I'll let that go. This little keychains for Madonna. Little pins. Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. I'm not a fan, but I do see some resale value here. There's a nice little shirt right there, Madonna. Okay, size medium. What do we got here? Yeah. Confessions Tour Madonna. All right, I hope we got some Madonna fans that watch this and come to our live auctions, because that's where we'll sell this stuff. We'll do a nice little Madonna lot. And down there is just all blankets and stuff, but there's this pillow. And then there's no pillow because this is heavy. No pillows that heavy. What is this? Hmm. Mystery continues. There's a cutting board. Oh. <laughs> That's what that is. Silverware. Big old cutlery set. You got any decent knives in here? China. Um, you know what guys, I'm gonna have to go through this because there are some knives that are very expensive. Cutco, for example. Imperial Stainless Granny's Pearer, China. Not what I'm looking for. Maybe we'll find some German blades would be good. Stainless steel. This is Japan right here. That's not a bad blade. Imperial em Emperor Steel. Emperor Steel. Boy, that's not very sharp. <laughs> they didn't they have not sharpened that in a while. But I, I do need to go through this because the blades can sometimes be some good money. There's a couple more Emperor Steel right there, Japan Blades. This is good stuff. Decent, decent stuff. I'll go through this, uh, but not right this second. I, I don't have that much more time today, so I gotta use that time wisely. Cutting board's nice. Next box. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Then we got the four over there, and then we're done. I think. Okay, there is a light. Some sort of backlit piece right here. It's kind of neat. I don't know what I should do with that just yet. I don't know what to do with that just yet. I'd like to see what it does. It probably moves around, shimmers or something. What is this, guys? Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that. That's a Transformers mask, but it's got San Francisco Giants stuff all over it. I think that stuff was put on... Oh, you know what this is? You know what this is? He wore this to the game. That's why they put the San Francisco stickers all over it. It's a Transformers mask, but they... Customize it to look for uh, look like it fits into the Giants baseball games. That's pretty cool. He probably got on TV with it. All right, we'll bring that to uh, Dianza, I think. Pretty neat. There's all the blankets we found at the bottom of the other one. That's another Hydro Flask. Oahu Country Club. Oh, that's busted right there. Why is that? No, it's not. Why did I think it is? It's meant like that. Okay, that's a nice one. Star Wars. Disney. More fake plants in here. That's decent. with Sony. Dream Machine. These are good, right? Looks like it needs to be cleaned up. Dream Machine, those are pretty decent, I think. Decent enough to put in the Dianza pal and decide later, right? Yeah, there's a lobster. Didn't we find one of these recently? <laughs> I don't know what the heck that's used for, but it's not cheap. It's a heavy plastic. Some more cassette tapes. Yeah, that's 
funny. Look at that hat. And there is some cabling. Oh, that's an extension cord. Nice. That'll sell. All right, Locker Nuts, let's take a break real quick, just real quick, just to remind you or invite you over to Whatnot to buy any of the best stuff that you saw in these videos, right? All This is the last video in this series from this locker and the very best stuff we pulled out, we put into Whatnot. If you don't know what that is, well, you come on, you must have, right? Because we've talked about it in every episode on this locker. It's the live streaming auction app. I'm going to go live in just a few hours as of this time right now when I'm filming. Uh, I'm very excited. This will be the third auction that we've done. There's still one more coming up, all right? So when you watch this, we still got one more Whatnot live auction planned scheduled and that's where you can buy some of the best stuff that we're pulling out of here okay so make sure you don't miss it I'm gonna put the link in this video and if you don't know what whatnot is and maybe you didn't watch the past few episodes that we put out it's a live streaming app for it's best to do it on your phone or iPad but you can do it on your computer too but really it's meant for the mobile devices and it's meant for auctions they built it for live auctions we've been having a blast our viewers have been having a blast if you haven't been there please come check it out out, all right if you've never used whatnot before use our link you'll get $15 free shopping credit all right just for signing up 15 bucks free to spend however you want the last two auctions have gone super well we sold over 200 items that's a lot of stuff all right a lot of stuff tonight we've got I don't know 225 items lined up to go and the reason we can sell so much is because it's very fast that auction moves quick it makes it exciting it makes it interesting in my opinion I I enjoy the app and I hope you guys will too and I think you will all right so if you haven't checked it out please do but again use the link below it'll get you the 15 bucks we'll see you there but for now let's get back to this locker and finish up digging this is the last episode and man we're finding great stuff all the way to the end let's get into it wow oh my goodness I don't know what this picture is but he did this at Shutterfly found some prints of it also um this yeah it's creepy let's bring that to the market Okay, a little travel iron. Yep, that's what that is. Oh my goodness, this guy's such a freak. This looks like a quilt or something. Hey, this is kind of neat right here. That is a, it's heavy, it's heavy material. And that looks like a quilt. So we did find swatches that look like this. And uh, it looked like a bunch of Hawaiian shirts, really. That's what this looks like. That is really cool. This is a quilt made out of, I think, Hawaiian shirts. Ah, that's different. You know what? Uh, you guys can tell. I get excited when I find things that are different. Unique, custom, handmade, artist piece, any of that kind of stuff. I love it. It does... I, I, I think that's fun. Okay, next, I took the top box off there. It says Easter on it. This looks kind of familiar for some reason. I don't know if we opened one that looked like this or if this is one that... No, I did not go through this. Definitely did not find a lint brush. I haven't found any of those in the locker in a while. Bunch of cutlery there. Um, well, so I'm actually going to put that aside. We use these for our, our uh, black jewelry cases, you know, our, our trays in our live auction. Screen clean. Disc repair. Okay, a little bit more towels here. Got decent towels. Let's put those aside for now. Okay. Those are Easter eggs. <laughs> now it's making sense. It said Easter and I get it. I get it. Chalkboard Easter eggs. Oh, that's kind of neat. Huh. Wow. Decorating Easter eggs. They're just fake eggs, but they're for decorating. Look at them all. What the heck? Um, hmm. Not exactly the time of year to do that, but I wonder if there's something that we could do with our church with this. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to put this aside for now. I'm not going to rush that to the market either. Uh, maybe for our church, we could do some projects for the kids or something. Well, you know... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, next. Next, 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 next. Okay, we got another inflatable mattress here. And I say another because we found one earlier. Not today, but before. Quick pump right there. That's good. Another one. Quick pump. Good, 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 good. Ooh, what is this? What is this? That's a sailboat. Oh, Nautica. Okay. What a nice little box. Is this a Nautica wallet? No, it's a Samsonite. Used. Did they leave anything behind? Any goodies for the old locker nuts? Nope. Nope. iPhone 4S. Oh my goodness, guys. You know you can sell these boxes. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that goes in the garbage. Um, and you guys who've been following me a while, that you know why I say that. 
I have a good fun with that. Because of all the people who say you can sell it. You can sell it for almost nothing. So waste your time. Go ahead and sell it. I'll tell you what they're worth. Nothing. And I say that because at the end of the day, at the flea market, I'm picking those boxes off the ground. If they're worth anything, the resellers would have picked them up and figured out how to flip them. Oh, there's Janet Jackson. There's Jason Mraz. I don't know those people. He frames people that he uh, follows, you know. I don't know if he physically follows them, but he's into their music anyways. It's another pump right there. Lots of pumps. Lots of pumps. There is some sort of Mickey Mouse soap dispenser. Man, it's kind of grody though. It is really grody. Oh, what's this? Harajuku. Empty. Uh oh, this is good. Ha Nahoku. Fi Hawaii's finest jewelers since 1924. We have found some of this, this kind of stuff before. Really nice stuff. Silver, gold? Nope, neither. It's nice jewelry though. Um, you know, the box is not worth nothing, but the jewelry itself is nice. Nice to find. That sounds interesting. Those are some good brushes right there. I got a whole bag of sponges and brushes. Probably for cleaning cars or something. Okay, what's this? iHip Couture spiked out headphones. They're in there. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Right? Kind of funny. Uh, I think I'll bring that to Dienza. I only bring stuff to Dienza so they get five bucks or more. I try to. I try to. This, I probably won't get five bucks. Actually, I don't know. Bluetooth speaker. That is not in here. This is way too light for that. Stapler. Nice. A couple more lays. Ooh, this is nice. Got some beaded stuff going on here. Huh. There's some nicer stuff in here. This is a custom job right here, but they got some nicer stuff in with some decent, I mean, whatever stuff. I'll put that aside. Okay, guys. Another chance. Kenneth Cole. I think this is another wallet, maybe. This <laughs> is funny. It is. It's used. It's actually in really nice condition, though. It is used. It is nice. Hmm. Oh, look. We got another one of these. That's funny. We found one already, and now we got another one. A Hawaiian scarf or something? Okay, look at this. Janet. Unbreakable. The pom-pom. don't think that's what came in that. This has got to be another concert piece, but... Let's see if we can find it. Business cards. Some adapter that's empty box. Oh, what's this? Come on. Dang it. It's that Nahoku again. Look at this. He's got the same pictures of the... I think it's Kelly Slater, the surfer. Okay, this is a huge bag of cords. What's that? Infineon. Some RAM or something? A little memory cards? I don't know. Tons of cords, but I see it mostly audio video stuff. Yeah, there's some USB... No, that's HDMI right there. Oh, that's a Beats symbol right there. Beats. Come on, be in there. No, it's not Beats, but it's Apple earbud. More Apple earbuds. Gift tissue, put that aside. We use that for packing and shipping. There's a couple more little earphones in there. Yep, that's what that is. Oh, that's his Bose. Wait a second. Yeah. Oh, this is like pretty worn. The Bose, well worn on that. Um... These are the bows though. It says bows right there. These don't look too bad. Uh, I see the plastic separating a little bit right there, but they don't look bad though. They don't look too worn. That's a cool piece right there. It's worth a few bucks. Let's see what's in here. Mm, let's see. Ah, dang it. I don't know what those are. Little push pins is what they are. Swarovski box though. Dang. Got my going. Get your motor rolling. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Just a bunch of stuff I'm gonna sell at the market. Next box. Mm, okay. Hooks, sandpaper, taxes maybe? Paint brushes? <laughs> oh, dang. Nice job, Locker. That's a nice job. Ladder rack, that's good. Uh, Disneyland bag. That looks vintage. Guess jeans. Let's see, we got a bunch of posters here. Janet Jackson. Rolling Stone, Janet Jackson, big surprise. I don't know who's on the guest jeans. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Janet Jackson. But, uh, nah, I'm not interested in this stuff, these posters. Maybe there's some vintage stuff here. I'll just take it to the market. There's another, oops, some more posters here. Janet Jackson. 
Dude, what's this on the Jaron Jackson? It's like making me uncomfortable. A little duct tape or something. Okay, there's some more paints right there. Paints are buried now. The paints I put aside, I'm just, uh oh. I was just gonna say, I'm gonna let them all go at the market, but nope. No, I'm not. Because there's some testers paint, there's some model paint right here. That's a little better stuff right there. Okay, let me put that aside. Bungee cords can go. Oh man, now I'm seeing all frames in here. That sucks. What is this? <laughs> what? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yay. Okay, gift card. What the heck? Trader Joe's gift? Could this all be? Okay, I see hotel cards and I see gift cards. There's a Disney gift card. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to put the girls to work. They're gonna have to do some gift card lookups. Wow, the hotel cards can go. Maybe if there's Disney ones, we'll put them aside. Those might be a little collectible. What the heck, though, guys? This is a lot of cards. Oh, I see a $10 iTunes card right there. Look at all these cards. Look at all these cards, guys. Oh, it looks like he's cutting guitar picks out of cards. Wait, is that what he's doing here? Is that what this is all about? Why is there so many gift cards in hotel keys here? This is this is something else. We'll put that aside. Definitely got to look at those gift cards a little closer. I don't have high expectations, though. I really don't. Okay, there's some... Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Brand new frames, guys. Never used. Some of them. Oh. Look at this. Pick punch. Create your own guitar picks. So it's a punch. to. Pu that, that's how I made them. Oh, I wonder if that's in here somewhere. That'd be cool. But I don't know if I'm going to go through all this to look for it. This is probably just going to go to the flea market right here. Pull that out. That's good tape. Nope. All right. Yeah, this will go to the market. All right, guys. This is the last one. Last one. And I, I got a spoiler alert. I don't think it's going to be that good. See, this one's got a dent right there. I think I opened this one already. All right, let's check it out. Let's see. Ah, dang it. Yes, I already saw this one. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Mickey Mouse ice tray. Right? That's a neat, little neat. Put it aside. Okay. That's cool. Bookends. Ooh. That looks like... What is that? Is that teak? Um, what kind of wood is that? Maybe it's just pine. I don't know, but it's nice. That's kind of neat. I'm going to put that aside. That'll go to the Anza. Got a pair, obviously. Need two. Yep. That was just a regular old ice tray. What's this? Oh. Oh. Okay, boy. <laughs> Guys, this... I did not plan this. That looks pretty good right there. That looks pretty good. There's another Mickey thing. I'll put that over there. Um, what's this? Okay, a little pineapple. Aww. They don't take care of their stuff, these guys. Okay. All this not impressing me at all. Not in the least. Oh, that's kind of neat, though. Do or do not. There is no try. Actually, I like that. That's going home. All right, the rest of this. Don't care probably asking why I'm putting stuff on the van here because I'm gonna drive this over to where my trailer is stored and throw this stuff in the trailer so I don't have to pack this so close I mean so tight you know so this and all this is going to Danza that's all better stuff and then all this and all those is all stuff to go through a second time now there is one in here that's all the CDs that's not so good but the rest of these is like really good stuff all right we're not done though we got this last bag right here guys and this looks kind of juicy right here it looks juicy Ooh, 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 it really does. No clickbait in here. This is a good looking bag. Okay, a little shell necklace. Maroon 5 right here. Maroon 5, um, that's pretty cool. A little necklace, concert souvenir probably. There's another shell necklace. Baby, you know what baby? I'm gonna put you in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Millennials would be like, I don't go, I don't understand the reference. There's some more cords and cables. This is nothing good. This is nice jewelry here. Southwest. I don't know. That's not nice, but it's a uh, bolo tie, right? What is this? It's like a bolo tie, but what's the point? Lanyard holder? I don't know. Put that aside. String. No, it's a little bit nicer. It's probably for this. I don't know. There's a little cross. It's not silver or anything, but. Uh oh. Wait, wait, okay, wait. First of all, that's empty. Second of all, what is this? Why is it all bagged up like this? Um, uh, nah. Wait. Huh? Mm hmm. Could be. Could be. Hang on. You guys watching this? It's not focusing. It's getting in there. Better than my eyes are, but it's not focusing. 
I see a, what looks to be a 0K. See that? 0K? Oh, like, like it says OK, but I think that might be a 10K. Yeah, cannot make it out, guys. We're gonna have to bring that home and look at it with the loop. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. It could be 10K, but I don't, I don't think so. But I don't know. It's not that much weight to it. It's lighter than it looks. That's cool. A little inlay there. Um, I don't think that's silver or anything. Some little beads there. Wood beads. There's a partial watch. <laughs> it's quartz. Just says quartz. It doesn't have a brand on it, so that's nothing. That's pretty. Ooh, that's a cutout from a seashell. Oh, that looks like that could be sterling. If that's set in sterling, that is pretty nice. I think that's sterling. We'll double check that, but I think that's a nice piece right there. Um, ooh, I've got magnets. It's not sticking. I took that out because I wasn't sure. It's not gold. Oh, it even sticks a little bit. It's not gold. It doesn't have the right color or anything to it, but it's cool. A costume piece. It's nothing. Incubus, another concert piece. A couple money symbols there. Nice. All right, a couple, a little bit. Ooh, that could be some silver in there. Those earring, that earring looks silver. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. Well, could be some silver in there. Or not. <laughs> or not. Well, we'll have to separate it all and go through a little more carefully than that, but. First pass, not convincing. Put the empty bags, I don't get that. Yeah, that's pretty. It's nothing though. China, I think it says. It's another souvenir thingy. Oh, there's a bunch of pins. Southwest Airlines, mostly. Secretary of State, Nevada? That's, that's odd. A little bit more shells, and there's some, oh, there's a little Mickey Mouse right there. Nice. A lot of shells. Um, Guys, I'm not really seeing anything yet that's like exciting me, you know? A bracelet. A Hawaii stuff. That's cool. The Hawaii necklaces are neat. They are neat like this. It's neat. Um, they are not valuable. They're a few bucks each, you know, but I'm just saying nothing significantly valuable. There's some little turtles and stuff. Souvenir coins, tokens, something. Okay, what's this? It won't take much gold to make me happy. There's a little Mickey. That could be some gold right here. Do you see that? That says 10K. Disney, and it says something that says 10K. I hope that's coming out on the camera, but see that pretty clearly. That is a 10K little charm. I wouldn't be surprised if that's also 10K right there then. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm taking a photo of the table. Oh, all right, there's a little gold Mickey. Nice. Okay, more stuff. This is cool. I'm, uh, I'm happy. We're finding at least a little better. Yeah, that's interesting right here. That's not sticking. It does, that's not gold though. It doesn't have the right color. But what's this though? It could be a little bit of gold on there. I don't know. Gosh, so many empty bags. That's weird. Little turtle. Empty, empty. Empty. No shells. Nope. Not sure what that is. Oh, there's some money in there. Okay. Let's look in there. See if there's anything else here. Got a lot of empties. All right. Alright, that'll go home with me, I think. I don't know. Eh, I don't know. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, okay, Mickey Mouse. A little charm there. The guy from Twilight. <laughs> it's weird. It's cool. Ew, what's this? This could be silver. That's a 925. I could see that. That's a 925. Ooh, that's really nice. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Okay. Janet Jackson. Right. Okay, I don't know. Katy Perry and Lady Gaga. What the heck? What the heck? Feather. So random. Quarters are good. This is neat. I'm not sure what that's carved out of. It's cool. Silver penny. Ah, that looks like a little silver earrings right here. Little cubic zirconians, probably. I mean, of course, it could be something better. We'll check it out. And right here, nah, I don't think that's silver. Oh, what I do with my magnet? <laughs> I may have thrown it in here. Right. Doesn't matter. I got another one. No, that doesn't stick. Maybe it is silver. Can't read it, but it could say sterling. It doesn't say 925. It says something else. It could say sterling. Good, fine. Okay, that was a decent, a little decent stuff in there. A couple of silver chains. Not bad. 20 bucks each. Easy. The chain is nothing, but the little charm there. A little seashell. Sand dollar, I mean. Sand dollar. All right, guys. That's, that'll do it. Dang. Okay, well, the fun's over. Well, the fun's over for me. Uh, you guys can watch it again if you want.
<laughs> uh, but, or you know what? You just wait and watch the next episode, which will be probably another locker. I don't even know. Right now, I've gotten through everything that I... No. <laughs> I actually, I still have half a train locker, maybe one third of a train locker to go through. Um, I'm just so backed up on trains, I haven't gone through that. But uh, besides that, I've gone through everything that I've bought. So the only way I'm going to have more stuff to go through is to buy some more, which I'm sure we will be doing before long. Um, actually, actually, even with even without the storage locker auctions, there's other ways to get stuff, right? We do garage sales and stuff, but I am uh, potentially picking up an estate buyout here. I'm supposed to work on it this week. I'm just so busy. I need to finish this. I need to go to the market. But um, estate buyout, yeah, we might be clearing out a 1,500 square foot house with a lot of collectibles in it. So if that comes through, maybe that's the next video. I don't really know. Wherever the next video happens, we will be having another video. And I hope it'll be as fun as this one. Actually, I hope it'll be more fun than this one but this one wasn't bad but oh hang on now that we're done with everything come to think of it there's no purple heart what are those guys talking about they said there's a purple heart somewhere um they weren't actually sure because i when i went back and asked her i said can you um ask them like where to look specifically and she's like i did they didn't know and i'm like well even if they're like oh there's a red shoe box and it was in there or there's a you know some something give me something she said they have no clue they actually don't even know for sure it's in there they're saying that they've gone through all their father's stuff and it's nowhere to be found so they think that's the last place it has to be it wasn't here um it wasn't here because i went through pretty carefully and unless it got tossed out but i mean if it was in with a bunch of junk mail shame on them for packing it that way but i don't even think that could have happened because i went through the junk mail too uh that'll that'll be a little perplexing to me i think it's somewhere else i think it's somewhere else that in their possession not mine so anyways guys um we didn't find the purple heart we found a ton of disney we didn't expect the disney we found a lot less baseball stuff and a lot more disney than we expected and i am totally happy with that i'll do that all day long but i do like the baseball stuff only because i know it sells disney sells also the clothing probably was also the big surprise here we found some really good clothing some vintage pieces a lot of concert shirts um and the guy did have a good taste in clothes this is the son's locker not the father's i don't know what i don't know what was going on there why is in the father's name but it was the son's locker but it was okay because we we spent four grand. We're gonna get four grand. I'm I'm with this many bins of good stuff right here put aside. We're gonna get four grand. Um, I'll probably go to the market. I'm hoping to bring home. Maybe we clear five hundred bucks. Maybe we clear seven fifty with the low end stuff and then the better stuff at the Dienza. There's hundreds, if not a thousand, there too. So we'll make some money here. It was a lot of work. Of course, it wasn't a home run. But that's okay. We always have to try because you never know when the home runs are coming. You really don't. So anyways, guys, it was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. Thanks for coming on the adventure. Hey, I got some new clothes at least. Check out my $4,000 jacket. <laughs> Came with a free hat. Just kidding. Um, we'll be back soon, guys, with another fun adventure. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Lockernuts. Ooh, 200,000 subscriber Lockernuts as of today. Yes. All right, a few episodes ago, Gianna came to help me dig. We found some jewelry. I put on this tray here the best stuff. Most of this is silver, a little amethyst, and some gold 10 carat. We got five grams in that class ring. 14 carat, 14 carat, 14 carat. I think there's 14 grams there, and the silver rings are really cool. Silver pendants. 